path to misery without changing. I mean, look! What? The sequence of Arcana has completely changed. Death has moved far off into the future. No, no, no! This must be some sort of trick. What are you, a scam artist? You made a deal with her boyfriend or something, didn't you? Then what did you do? Did you plunge him into Tokyo Bay, or cram him into a metal drum and dump insects on him? You must have taken some sort of extreme measures. Well, you certainly do seem ordinary. Yes, quite ordinary indeed. But there's no way that could have happened. Without you breaking the law. I mean, how could an ordinary high school student change the course of fate? Fine. I'm just going to have to verify your power. The very power that reversed my tarot card prediction. This is quite a serious situation for a fortune teller like me. I need to get to the bottom of this. You won't have to do anything. Just sit next to me while I tell fortunes. And if another unopposable fate happens to appear, then I'll test your power. Well, that may be true. I know. I'll read your fortune. Please? I'll even prioritize your readings over my regular customers. Besides, I'll be able to provide much more accurate predictions once I get to know you better. How does that sound? Is it a deal? Hmm. Otherwise, I won't be able to go on. Please, I beg you. I need to know if fate truly can be changed. Okay, then. I look forward to verifying your skills. Please don't blow me off, okay? We made a deal, after all. Unless you were lucky, there's no way you could have repeatedly done so many crimes. Or perhaps you had someone you consulted who gave you precise advice. You're not getting away this time with just luck. I am... With the birth of the fortune persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Is fate really something that can be changed? If it's really possible, then... Hmm. Oh, it's getting late. Let's close up shop for today. It's past your curfew.
Isn't today our deadline for dealing with Medjed? Futaba's still asleep too. This won't be good. Hey. Same as always. Today's the day Wakaba passed. I do this every year. Here, I've got a cup for you too. Futaba reminds me so much of her mother. She's a smart girl. Doesn't just go with the flow either. Wakaba, your work and your kid were so fulfilling for you. Why'd you have to die so suddenly? Oh, that reminds me. You saw me talking to that prosecutor, and I mean, that woman in the suit, right? I remember you were real bothered by it. She might come back, so I guess I should tell you about it. That woman was trying to get information on Wakaba's research out of me. That's what we heard in the palace. You don't need to know what the research was about. Just know there was some trouble around it. Obviously, Wakaba got dragged into that as well. Now, they ruled her death as suicide. But I've got my doubts. Doubts? Could she have been killed? Supposedly, there were people who wanted to take her research and use it for their own benefit. Don't get me wrong, though. I don't have a lick of evidence. That's why I haven't told Futaba any of this. I don't want to cause her any more trouble. It sounded like she had suspicions of her own based on what she said in the palace. Still, there's one thing I regret. It was right before Wakaba died. She told me, I think I might die. I brushed it off thinking it was just a joke. But if I had just taken her seriously... <sighs> that's another reason I took Futaba in. Redemption. She went through such horrible things. Those heartless adults just yelled at the poor girl. Hey, how do you heal emotional scars? I agree. I'm waiting for it to happen, but... Futaba? this no, no, never mind that but uh, how did you get here uh i walked you're okay was that bad th th that's not it i'm just shocked to see you out of the house uh i'm sorry i worried you <laughs> it's all right by the way what's the date today uh, it's, uh, it's the 21st. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, I remember now. Majed. Let's take care of it now. Come. my turn to help out. <laughs> Medjed. Now how do we cook them? <laughs> Violent much? Hey Futaba, we don't have much time left. Are you sure you could do this? The, the kitty talked? Is this a dream? I'm going back to sleep. It is not a dream! Get up! Say something! Right. Now hurry it up! Eh, 
I guess it doesn't matter. Let's get cracking. You're just tapping away over there. Are you sure this will work? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Futaba! <laughs> I don't think she can hear me. Talk about intense concentration. This place is so messy. I'm surprised she could focus at all. Futaba, you should really clean your room a bit. Huh. She's not listening. Oh well. Just waiting around is boring. Let's clean the place up. Whew. It looks a little better now, don't you think? Well, Futaba, we're done on our end. Are you finished yet? <laughs> she can't hear a word I'm saying. <sighs> Guess we'll just have to keep waiting. <sighs> I'm done! Uh, what's up? Something happened? It's finished. Finished? What is? Uh, it's so clean! Why? We cleaned it. Anyway, is it true? Did you really take care of Medjed? I handled them, and someone else handled my room. I don't understand, but this is good. Futaba? Hey, Futaba, what's wrong? <sighs> She's sleeping. Well, it looks like it's been taken care of. I guess we should get home and sleep, too. Okay.
okay. What's up? So you're finally up, huh? Don't slack off just because you're on summer vacation. Yo, you look tired. We've made ourselves at home. Late last night, it was discovered that someone has tampered with the hacker group Medjid's website. The site's main page now displays what is thought to be the mark belonging to the Phantom Thieves. More so, the personal information of a Japanese man, a possible Medjid member, was illegally publicized. Aren't these the guys people have been up in arms about? Medjid has yet to issue an official reply. Furthermore, their previously announced Clans of Japan has remained unimplemented for now. Some speculate that they have taken this series of events seriously and ultimately canceled their plan. What are you all smirking about? Well, stop it. You're gonna drive away all my customers. After the commercial break, we will be asking guests from various fields about this turn of events. But there ain't any customers. Can it? My customers are on summer vacation too. Oh crap, I just realized our break's almost over. There are still ten days left. I want to go somewhere, but we can't just leave Futaba-chan alone. Some things still concern me too. Like that research. Oh! Did you just get up? Good morning! <gasps> it seems she's cautious of us. Hey, uh, why don't we go upstairs? If any customers come, she'll be even more afraid. Why don't you go with them, Futaba? Have fun. It's about time my regulars show up anyway. So I don't want you guys loitering around my store. The fact that there were no damages due to the hacker's actions is but an afterthought. The issue I want to make clear is the attitude of the police, and more importantly, the government. <sighs> What do you mean? Are they doing their best to find an effective countermeasure against these phantom thieves? Is it not the government's duty to create a society where its citizens can live without worry? Unfortunately, the current cabinet is powerless. As such, they should be disbanded. I believe now is the time for me to risk my political career in hope of making a new reality. A new political system that goes beyond parties or factions. An ideal country of peace and order. This politician seems quite promising. I have to agree. 
I hope he can work to ease the anxieties of the elderly. What do you think, boss? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Uh, I wasn't listening. So the Phantom Thieves only stole the heart of Futaba Sakura, and Mejid was in turn defeated by her real-world hacking abilities? This does correlate to the facts as we know them. If he's telling the truth, then Wakaba Ishiki didn't commit suicide. Did a third party target her life with the goal of destroying her research? Wakaba's death was two years ago. That also coincides with when the incident started occurring. Does this other Metaverse user that Matarame and Kaneshiro mentioned really exist? Earlier, I briefly mentioned about those psychotic breakdown incidents that have alarmed the public. All of a sudden, people will lose consciousness or become violent. A situation as incomprehensible as that can't be explained away as troubled social conditions. I suspect that these cases are all connected to a larger, man-made plot. The method involved always muddled the explication, but your story has virtually confirmed its viability. Although I wouldn't have expected a new criminal to come to light from your testimony. What did your group think of this other Metaverse user? How self-centered of you. The Phantom Thieves tamper with people's hearts without asking consent. How is that different? <laughs> well, no matter how you thought of them, there can be no doubting your resolve. Are those incidents because of you or someone else? Either way, I will get to the bottom of this. All right. Now, let's move on to your next crime. Kunikazu Okumura. You should know who he is, considering what happened. Your testimony regarding this incident will be serious. I'm sure you understand why. Answer my next question carefully. What did you do to this Okumura? To think, the cognitive version of a person would transform into such a horrible monster and attack us. That means our enemies aren't limited to shadows. I thought the other people were just victims. Like the slaves at the castle, or the walking ATMs. Even though they seem to be alive, they're only part of the backdrop. The environment. In other words, the palace ruler determines the form and strength of their cognitions. I would have loved to ask Futaba's mother how far along she was with her research. Research, huh? She was looking into that cognitive science stuff, yeah? If we put together all the information we've gathered up to this point, abuse of cognitive science can lead to death, and it may even relate to the psychotic breakdown incidents. Considering the cognitive aspect, I sense a strong connection between it and the metaverse. On top of that, the research might have been stolen and used by someone else. You mean those guys that showed Futaba-chan the fake suicide note? If that is the case, those people are unforgivable. Hey, Futaba. Is there anything else you can remember? <sighs> she is quite difficult. That smell. Come on, no fair! Hey, can I snag a bite? Meanie! Why don't we take a short break? I've been thinking, even if Futaba is a genius, could she really crush an international hacker organization that easily? The one who taunted the Phantom Thieves was a guy in Japan. I knew the Mejed members in Japan weren't anything special, so I wasn't worried. How do you know that? Because I'm the founder. Um... What do you mean? Should we take that literally? Yep, it was only me at first, back when I was referred to as the Hacker of Justice. But since I stayed anonymous, a bunch of guys from all over the world started using the name. And those were the ones committing cybercrimes. 
It was a hassle to expose all of them, so I just left them be. Uh, so Futaba was the true Medjed, and we were freaking out over some weak-ass dipshits? <sighs> you should have told us from the start, Futaba. I discarded the Medjed name a while ago. I'm Alibaba now. Futaba, what do you want to do now? Since you know our secret, we'd like you to join our team. Okay. Just like that? This may even ensure our investigation of mementos goes along smoothly. Well, I guess. Well, Futaba's real amazing. She's gonna be a big help for us, huh? Say, Futaba, how did you find out about us? Secret. Where did you learn to hack? Private. When did you obtain the nav? I refuse to answer. Futaba-chan sure is unique. Still, it'll be a problem if she doesn't open up to us some more. At the very least, we need to be able to communicate normally with her. <laughs> what should we do? Uh, that ain't gonna fly. First, we'll need to help her open up to us. If we each spend an entire day with her, maybe she'll get more used to being around us. I see. We do have the time thanks to summer vacation. We can begin tomorrow. Let's go to the beach! There'll be tons of people there. Plus, we got totally dried out in that desert. That's a great idea! I forgot I hadn't gone to the beach yet. Uh, excuse me. I'll... Let me help as well. I don't have anything planned. Thanks. We can set a schedule with everyone else depending on when they're free. Okay! Can I really do this?
Stress is the enemy of beauty, you know. How can I stay calm about this? I understand how you feel. Thanks to the incident with those hackers, people are calling us incompetent. And on top of all that, the Phantom Thieves are claiming justice is on their side. Don't make me laugh. Measured was dealt with by either the Phantom Thieves themselves, or some avid supporter. There are no tracks whatsoever, so they must be quite skilled. Either way, the general public recognizes the Phantom Thieves as the subjugating party. They're gaining support and influence much faster than we could have anticipated. It is indeed an abnormal situation. I'm beginning to suspect mass manipulation of some kind. It's even possible that a powerful person is behind them, plotting the psychotic breakdowns. If only I had realized sooner. It's rare to hear you speak in that tone. For the sake of my justice, I won't forgive them. to be okay. I'm worried about how things will be from now on. of all people getting excited about this? Well, the news really did draw a lot of attention. I can't wait to see what happens. something.
Our master would like a word with you. Stand up straight and listen closely, inmate. It seems you freed the heart of a frenzied girl and saved her from her haunted past. <laughs> Another step has been taken to rehabilitation. You are progressing quite nicely. Our master bestows words of praise upon you. You'd better feel honored. By the by, more curious information has found its way to your ears. A scientist's research. It seems that world may secretly be known after all. Furthermore, that very research has been stolen and is now used by those with malicious intent. I wonder how this will change the approach you take toward your rehabilitation. I believe I told you we would spare no expense in cooperating with you. Allow me to grant you a new power worthy of your current self. Though you have my aid, be sure not to let your guard down, otherwise you may get swept off your feet. We shall meet again in the near future. Time to go, inmate. Okay. What is that supposed to be? Don't worry about it. Such avant-garde design. You have excellent taste. <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? What do you plan on doing? I'd like to simply have a normal conversation. That is the basis of true communication, after all.
because you must be well versed in speaking when you are student council president. Don't think too hard about our conversation. We're just going to talk about ordinary topics today. And what do you mean by ordinary topics? You know, things like food or the weather. Well then, let's begin with food. What do you like to eat, Futaba? Organic ones. Um, that wasn't exactly what I meant. Uh, let's try a different topic. How about the weather? I heard that this heat wave is showing no sign of stopping. Dunno, I haven't been out. Oh, right. Makoto's getting overwhelmed. It, this is odd. It, it wasn't supposed to go like this. By the way, Yusuke, what have you been doing this whole time? Oh, superb. Some of their heads came off when I was moving them, but I made sure to rearrange them pleasingly. My children! What have you done to my children? They appear to be quite shoddily made. They're from Phoenix Ranger's Neo Feather Man! No, Yellow and Pink's heads and Red's been hacked to bits! This is all Inari's fault! Inari? You know, Inari Sushi? The tofu things foxes eat in the old stories? What kind of fox doesn't know that? Inari? Oh, they were in the perfect poses, too! It was so much work getting them set up just right! Uh, you wouldn't know aesthetics if it hit you in the face, Inari! Uh, how dare you say that to me! Of all people! Sheesh, that's not a conversation anymore. It's a full-blown argument. Yeah. I see. So their versatility allows you to recreate almost any dramatic scene you can imagine. Mm-hmm. Victory is great for action, and Neo's got the best transforming suit. So cool. Fascinating. Art depicts a flash of inspiration, but models offer a much different means of enjoyment. Huh? Take a look at that. Futaba's having a regular conversation. It seems she doesn't have a problem talking to others as long as the subject interests her. I suppose the topics I brought up were not the right ones. So this is all I gotta do? What a breeze! In that case, we should advance to the next step. How about we have her spend time in someone else's room? Yes! She hasn't had many chances to leave the house yet, so that would be the perfect opportunity. Don't set the bar so high! Oh, I can't stand this gung-ho way of doing things. I've left Tamara to An and Ryuji. He'll be there as well, so you'll be okay. Can I wear my mask? I think it would be best if you didn't. There's really no telling how tomorrow's going to go. and Ryuji teaming up honestly worries me. But I guess we'll see what they can do.
All right, then. I'm here, I ride it from the lead. That's where I find. <laughs> is on you. Surprisingly calm. I thought you'd be more panicked. There are no customers. Yo! We're here! Deep. Sorry we're late. We were out buying stuff and I got a little caught up in what to get. So many snacks. What exactly do you plan on doing? Well, summer vacation's the time when you lounge around in your room all day. Yeah, and eating snacks is the best part of that you're gonna get fat you know uh, shut it hey where's Futaba you have done well in coming here <laughs> ah, shit freaked me out oh, hey you Futaba yep 
Welcome. Why are you wearing that? Habit. Anyway, bring it. Not sure I get it, but let's do this. Sheesh. Looks like today is going to be another noisy day. For real, it was freaking amazing! There were girls all over me! Wait, you don't believe a word I'm saying, do ya? Uh, it's you we're talking about here. There's no way you were ever a chick magnet. What was that? Agreed. As a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. Plus, popular guys wouldn't go bragging about that stuff to other people. I keep wondering if I should do it while I'm still young. But the dresses show a lot of skin, right? Hey, are you even listening? There's no point talking about wedding dresses right now. None of us have significant others. Yep, I'm not getting married anytime soon. Can we please talk about something else? You know, Futaba's fine having conversations. Yeah. She doesn't have any trouble speaking her mind. Seems totally normal to me. I don't know what normal is, but if this is it, I'm happy. I totally thought you were gonna be some weirdo, but <laughs> I guess all that worrying was for nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm relieved too. I think things should keep going smoothly at this rate. By the way, what's on the agenda for tomorrow? How about we have her try helping around the cafe? That's perfect! It'll be good practice to have her up in front of strangers. Beep! Nope, nope, nope! Showing up in the shop at lunchtime will be like super crushing hard mode! You don't have to deal with customers if you don't want to. Maybe you could dry plates in the back. <laughs> oh. Okay. Then it's all set. We'll be rooting for you, Futaba. Uh, you're all gonna pay for this someday.
Good evening. Actually... to it. Until next time. me to let Futaba help out around the shop? But I've never had her do anything like that before. Is she gonna be okay? Still, putting her out in front of customers is a little much. D don't worry. I did graduate middle school last year. I'll be fine if I just think of this as my first summer job of high school. Well... In that case, uh, how about you wash the dishes? Just don't push yourself too hard, okay? <coughs> hey, are you all right? The usual boss, extra strong. Uh, sure thing. Keep an eye on Futaba for me. Is she a new part-timer? Man, smooth as always. What number Bond girl is this, boss? It's not like that. You usually go for the older ones, right? It's only natural you'd want someone younger sometimes. It's like the Guatemala Peaberry coffee. Its acidic sweetness is akin to a breath of fresh air. Sorry, we're serving a blend today. Hey, snap out of it. Hurry up and bring him the coffee before it gets cold. Yo, here's your coffee. When in the world did she... Hey, Futaba, haven't I told you not to show up in front of people with that damn thing on? And... And be more polite when you're bringing something to a customer. Uh, here's your coffee, sir. 
Thanks. But it uh, uh, protects me from the steam. <laughs> to think Futaba would go out and talk to a customer herself. Mask aside, I'm impressed. Looks like people really can change. Sojiro, want me to bring coffee to more customers? N mask off first. Ugh, I'll think about it. Just at this.
right. I see. Nice. Everyone. Huh? It's quite hot. Let's give it our best effort again today. The most important thing is... I...
Well then, I'll see you again. Today's the fourth day already. We getting a little better at dealing with other people? Uh, I don't know. Can't really tell. People cannot change their deep-seated habits that easily. Well, let's just say you've made some progress for now. No! Oh, stop it! You're gonna blow my cheeks off! Man, those girls are late. Who do they think they are making us wait like this? Hello. Please excuse us. Apologies for the lateness. We were looking at multiple items and weren't sure which to choose. Looking? Looking at what? A swimsuit, of course. For Futaba-chan. A swimsuit? You don't have one, do you? No, but... Okay. Let's have you try it on right now, then. No, 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 now? <laughs> you can't go to the beach if you don't have a good-fitting swimsuit. We don't have much time left, you know. Uh, but, um, uh... You know what'll happen if you try and look, right? Oh, wow, it's perfect. I'm amazed you were able to eyeball it with such accuracy on. I know, right? There we go. It's on. What the? This barely covers anything! That's normal for a swimsuit. Now, we just need to push these a little more this way. Yeah! 
push. Are you supposed to move them with that much force? You gotta put some oomph into this stuff. <laughs> there. Good to go. Whoa, even I'm impressed. I wonder what they're doing up there. They're having her try on the swimsuit, right? What else could they be doing? Futaba in his swimsuit, hmm? I suspect that would make a great painting. Perhaps we should ask Makoto about it. I speak from a purely artistic standpoint. Let it go, okay? We should just stay put. You guys are such children. What's with all the ruckus upstairs? Something about a swimsuit? Yeah, we're going to the beach pretty soon, so they're trying some swimsuits out. Futaba's going to the beach. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever see her take that much interest in going outside again. It seems we're good to go with the swimsuit. All flattery aside, I think it looks really great. Now you just gotta get rid of those round shoulders. Come on, straighten out your back. Right. She might be some trouble, but I hope she can make some great memories with you guys. Of them. 
So what should we do today? Looks like we know what have you been, been searching all along. Okay. Let's do it. Do it. Oh. 
Oh, honey. Hey, hey! That's rough. Hey! I mean... Come on. Ugh! I'm drenched! Oh yeah? Finished for now. You'd like to read the compendium registration? You want to read? Are you sure? These are the paths you have walked. Is this what you want? You'll withdraw this persona, then accept this persona. Done already? What? It is time, inmate. So what should we do today? Let's see. Want to eat together? You know, like how we had Hot Pot that one time. That may be a good idea. It'll be a great way to strengthen our intra-squad friendships. I, I can do that. Okay, I'll take a cola and an omelet with rice. Oh, and make that a large, please. I'd like the same. No, but this is for Futaba's sake. Ugh, fine. You owe me, got it? I want the same. Extra large. Ah, uh, I ate loads! Damn, Futaba, I'm impressed! Indeed, your appetite is quite nice to see. I much prefer that to women who don't eat a lot. You better not be hitting on me. How rude. Sojiro, help me! 
Will you stop that? So does this mean her training's going good? Let's go with that then. Hey, let me make you guys some after meal coffee. It's on me. Thank you. I want iced cocoa! You can't handle bitter stuff either, right? Iced cocoa sound good? Yeah, definitely. Extra cold, please. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had a lunch this lively. Mm -hmm. It's lots of fun. Want anything, Futaba? Orange juice, 100% natural. Reminds me, you're going to the beach tomorrow, yeah? Go have fun and make up for the fireworks. Just try not to cut loose too much. Fireworks? Oh, yeah, you wouldn't know. He tried to go to a firework festival, but it got rained out. Not only did he get crushed in the crowd, but he came home looking like some kind of drowned rat. 
fireworks, huh? Hello. Oh, welcome. Oh, you're... Huh? You know each other? Wait, aren't you... I'm Akechi. Oh yeah, the one on TV and stuff. So what brings you here, Mr. Detective? This place is more than I imagined it to be. The atmosphere is wonderful. No wonder Sai san recommended it so strongly to me. Hmm. I already told her everything I know. There's nothing more I've got for you people. Oh no, that's not my intention. I just came to enjoy some coffee. Oh. And she is? Oh, you must be Wakaba Ishiki's. What'll it be? I'll have whatever you recommend. Coming right up. Huh. It seems I'm unwelcome no matter where I go. Did I bother you? My apologies. Apparently my mother was in a relationship with some lowlife of a man. She Thanks to him. She was swiftly discarded when he learned she was pregnant. That despair would lead to her death. Thanks to him I was passed from foster home to foster home. But I do quite well by myself these days. And I was passed from fo Mm. Ah, yes, Mejed. To think they'd be taken down by another hacker. I'm not sure whether Mejed was defeated by the Phantom Thieves themselves, or an avid supporter. Um, you're... Futaba-chan, right? Sai-san told me about you. Many kids your age seem to be fans of the Phantom Thieves. Do you like them too? Hmm. <laughs> What's the matter? You're popular too, Ace Detective Akechi. <laughs> Thank you. Although I'd rather not be compared to people like the Phantom Thieves, if at all possible. Hmm. This is delicious. You get to drink this coffee every day? I'm incredibly jealous. I would never have thought you'd be boarding at this cafe. We seem to share some kind of bond. Thank you. I believe that fate brings people together. It's strange, but talking to you is thought-provoking. Well, I think I found my go-to cafe. fireworks. Can we? I bought some. I went by myself. I just ran into Mona on the way back. I'll go get Sojiro. I was worried, so I decided to follow her. She was able to buy everything on her own, though. If she can do that, she should be good to go. Plus, she did a great job dodging that ace detective. Sojiro, hurry, hurry! We're gonna have a firework festival! Oh, hold on, Futaba. I, I haven't even put up my cigarette yet. <laughs> Come on! Don't get the smoke on me! Super double move! Whee! Will you listen to... <laughs> hey, the, the cat doesn't like the smoke. Keep the flames away from him. 
Sojiro, look! Look! Right. It's just be careful, okay? Memories of summer, huh? Okie dokie. I'm gonna do ten now! No! no! Make sure you keep an eye on her. It's tough enough going solo, let alone watching over someone else.